All right. Um, today, I want us to look at plain figures. We all know that plain figures are all those flat and closed figures, such as triangle, cycle, rectangle, and so on. So now, I want us to look at how to draw a large, a plain figure, such as a triangle. Now, this is the initial triangle, the given triangle, and this is the enlarged portion for this triangle. And this is enlarged in the ratio 2 to 4, that is 2 times bigger than this. This We enlarge this object, triangle to be 2 times bigger than this, and this is it. Alright, okay, let me show us how we can do that. Let's say a question is given and it's written does that construct a triangle ABC where AC equals five centimeter and BC equals five centimeter. Also allow the given triangle to a similar triangle in ratio two four ratio two to four or the question can be given in this format also like enlarge the given triangle a b c in ratio two to four where a c equals five centimeter and b c equals five centimeter it's still the same question but in a different format all right so now let's um, it is written in different ways. I mean, the sentence is rearranged. All right, so let's see how we can do that. Let's make sure your set square is firm to the I mean, firm to the edge of the board. Then. Then take your pencil and draw your line. That's plane of projection. Let's take that as our plane of projection. Then the next thing is to draw the given triangle. Draw the given triangle. So all right. Take your divider to mark off your starting point. Starting point. Yes, this is your starting point. It dots that. So whenever you want to draw any line, you start, you put it at that hole that you've made with the divider to draw. So having made the hole. We're told that AC is five centimeter. AC is five centimeter. Five centimeter. Take your ruler. All right. AC is five centimeter, or we can say fifty millimeter. So now take your compass to make the dot. This. As it there. All right. Then liberate A C. Okay. I haven't done that. We were told that B C. No, the triangle. That means B C to B. As a third point. So at this point now, take your compass. Or you take your compass. Then with your compass. Make C the center, so you can see I'm putting in other hole I have made with my divider. Then extend to A, since B, C, and A, C have the same measurement. So extend to A to take the measurement that is five centimeter. Good, five centimeter. They make an arc above line AC. 
So, having done that, you can take your ruler, draw a line, joining the that we touch the hack and point C. So it can touch any part of it. It is five centimeter. So touching it because okay, and a little bit where it's touching the hack. The then these are the two given per, um, parameters. So we can just from B now we join to A. From B we join to A. We told that is a triangle. Join to A. Good. So this is a given triangle. Then next thing is to draw a line AD. At any convenient angle so meaning that it's not a must to measure the angle so this is it you can do it like this okay all right now that's it then that I and I said it is a D the bed a D so next thing is to mark off equal part along this a D mark of equal part and how many mark i'm going to input now because we're told that in the question that the smaller triangle to the bigger triangle is in the ratio two to four so and that would be that's the total measurement is six that is so four plus two which is six so we divide this ad into six equal parts we divide it into six equal parts we can use our divider and we can use our compass what we just do is this open your compass or divider into any convenient radius any convenient radius like this then mark off just make dot From A dot one, put it on that one. Another dot dot two. Oh, sorry. All right, now I'm going to hold it at this side so that I won't. It won't. Now I'm marking off. I'm marking off six point one. Put it on this one. On the one you mark. Make another one. Two, three, four, five, six. Let me confirm it if there's no mistake. So I'm putting it back on the way to be entering it. All right. No mistake. Oh, yeah. There's a little shift. Okay. 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 Enough. Okay. 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 Okay, that's good. It's perfect. 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 All right, I'm going to label it. I'm going to label it. It's one. Two. Three, four, five, six. Right.
Now, join point 2 to C. Join point 2 to C. Okay, that is it. That is it. Then we're going to join point six to a particular point on this extension of A C. Now, but before we can draw that, it will be parallel to this one here, this two C. So what do we do? We get a ruler and a C square so that we can be able to draw a parallel line to this one here. So what do we do? Set your ruler and let it be set it to a way in which it will look as if that was what you used to draw this straight line here. Yeah. And it won't form double line. It will just be on the same line with the line 2C. Like mine now, it's a little bit not yet okay now how am i knowing that because of my two dots that i've made already because of the two dots so okay so once i draw the line she enter this dot here okay yeah that's it so we'll go bring it down to point my ruler will be firm to the paper but i'll only drag my set square down to point six point six then draw a line to e so where is touching this line i'm going to label it e e e yeah so i haven't gotten this then the next thing is to now that means we've gotten the double and light portion of ac that is from c to e is the higher ratio to this that that is that is in ratio two to four it is from here to here is in ratio two to four that is this one here from c to e is double of ac is double of ac so now let's get this part and this part so how do we do that? We set our set square and ruler to take the to take the, sh the, the, the the direction of this A B. So or that will be parallel to A B. So that we can draw a line parallel to A B on C on C. So let's do it this way. Okay. Sure. All right. Now that, that's it. I've gotten it. Then I hold my ruler frame and drag it down to point C. We drag it up. Make sure your end is also holding firm the same space so that they won't be shift. Good. You can see because of the shift. use handkerchief or you blow it so now go hold it and say good all right that is this that is this line is parallel to this then also another line that will be parallel to bc so i'll come to this side Okay. 
aqui. Ok, ok. Sim. Não vou botar em chante. Não é isso. Vou make it. É. Right. So, we set this point here. You see? We just want to pin this one down here like this. Once I'm cutting what I want. Okay. Okay. No. Be sheet. Good. We've gotten that. So I'll now shift it backward to E. Do I have it? Let me check. Okay. Still. Still intact. Okay. To E. Then I'm going to draw my. Okay. Good. I've done that. Now, this. Now, this where they are joining together will liberate F. Now, this is the enlarged portion of this ACB triangle, and CEF is the required ratio. Then, this and this is in ratio 2 to 4, that is, this one. This is twice bigger than this, and we can confirm it. If you measure from here, what is the measurement from here to here? This is five point one two five point three, then five point three times. Two should be ten point six. I mean, ten point six. Yes. So let's check this one too. If you can see, you can see ten point six. We have it. We have it. This ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten point six. Now, in here, when I was measuring, it, it was five point two. Five. So here also is at the center between two point between five point three, five point two and five point three. And here also is also between five point I mean ten point five and ten point six. That's just it. All right. And even for this side, this is five. This will surely be ten. Is it exactly exactly that's just it? So we have fully draw or enlarge this triangle into ratio two to four.